Hi, it's Tom Saunders from the Weather Channel. There's been a lot of talk about La Nina over the past few days, and I'm going to try and explain exactly what a La Nina is. This is a map showing the sea surface temperature anomalies through the Pacific Ocean. So by anomalies, that means departures from average. Now, this blue shading through the central and the eastern Pacific, that shows where the ocean temperatures are colder than normal, and that's the signal of what a La Nina actually is. We've got green shading here off the north coast of Australia. That shows where the waters are warmer than normal. Now the heavy rains tend to follow the warmer waters. So at the moment, we're seeing above average rain through Australia, Indonesia and some parts of Asia. Opposite to that, they're getting below average rain along the west coast of South America. Now we expect these conditions to continue for at least another few months. So through summer, we're likely to see above average rain continue for most of Australia, particularly northern and eastern areas. So that's the Northern Territory, Queensland and New South Wales. A very wet summer, more flooding is likely. Now your average La Nina does not affect Tasmania, southern Victoria, southern South Australia or western Australia. However, at the moment, there's a separate system that is affecting the west of the country. Through the Indian Ocean, we've got some warm waters and that is causing above average rain through WA as well. So, in short, a very wet summer for Australia and also an increased chance of tropical cyclones.